out of breath. Celebrate another one of birthday breaths. Pure lamb. It's your birthday today. Take an ice cream is on its way. And Pure lamb. It's such a good boy this year. Open up your gifts while we all cheer. Welcome back, everybody. You've read the title. You've seen the intro. That's right. We're making rats. We're making rats. Okay. We got the song. We got the we got the rat flute itself. We're gonna shoot rats at people. Uh, we're not playing the black kind of rats, the black deck, because the black rats. I tried it out. They're not very good. Uh, but this card's good. I think this card's really good. Uh, what are we doing? We're making tokens. We're having a good time. We got Heart Flame Duelist as our removal spell. Give us some like. Healing in the late game. We got Pollen Shield Hair, because it makes our rats bigger. It's a rat lord, and it also, you know, pumps a creature huge. Good stuff. Regal Bunnycorn. Cute little thing. Um, yeah. Gets bigger. More rats we have. Cool. Resolute Reinforcements. Two creatures. PNLR. Console of the Revels. Makes tokens. Wedding announcement. We show them the wedding announcement. We make a big creatures. Creatures get bigger. Cool stuff. In the trenches, rats are in the trenches. That's just the way it goes. This guy, he also makes the things go big and haste and cool. You know, lots of haste stuff going wide. Mondrak, we make more tokens. Rabble Rousing, we make more tokens. We have one edge wall in to bring back, you know, one of our cards if in late game if we need to. We got loads of different things. PNLR also triggers on these adventure cards. So that's kind of why we're playing PNLR as two of. Um, now what else? We got one... We got one Carbonara Courtyard. We got the Italian Courtyard right here. We got some Jetmere's Gardens. We got two Restless Bivouac because, of course, my wife likes horse or cows as well. So we have our little cow land. Uh, we got our cow land. We got our cute little tokens. We got our cute bunnies and stuff. This is why it's this is the deck I built for my wife. Perfect. Sideboards. What do we got here? We got this creature in case we need uh, just a bit of advantage. Pretty good. If we want to go faster. Might be good to like cut out the Mondrax and the Rabble Rousings and go like these guys. We got Stroke of Midnight to deal with whatever we need to deal with. Turn something back into a pumpkin. Good stuff. We got the Professional Face Breaker. Again, if we need to like cut the top end, we can just go in, get better card advantage. Incandescent Aria is a way that we can one sided wrath our opponents. Uh, that's why it's there. Mural makes tokens, does the thing. Nahiri's Resolve is in case we don't want like these, but we want still a big top end. This gives all our creatures haste. And uh, we kind of turn things into Blinky Boys, which is nice. Like Blink this, get them at the end of turn. Does it do enchantments as well? Artifacts or creatures. So just the creatures. The blinking is not really what's there. It's just another anthem effect, like in the trenches, but gives us haste. So we can kind of like slap this down, attack right away. It's good. That's what we're doing. That's what we're playing. We got Rat Flute. Welcome to the Rat Time. The Rat Time starts here. And in we go to some standard gameplay. Best of three. The usual. And if you're here and if you like rats or ox or bunnies, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit the both. That's how you can shed share the love today is by hitting the like and subscribe button. Whatever day today may be that this goes up live and stuff like that. We are going to keep this, right? It's three mana to do that. Maybe we're not going to keep this. We're going to mulligan that. We're going to keep this, though. This hand looks much better. Get rid of one of these guys. Slap down the bivouac. Little ox land. Okay, we got the sleeper. Sleeper inbound. It's a black deck to shock no one. Whoa, that's shocking, no? I don't think I've ever seen that in play. Really cool. I like that card. Uh, we're gonna wait. We might just double block this. Especially if they just pump this up twice. Maybe we won't, actually. I think if we get Heart Flame this, we'll be in better shape. We're just not going to block. No blocks. 
They might just have a removal spell blow us out, and then it's, we're not doing too well. Chair sure, Evolve Sleeper 2. Uh huh. Crucible. We'll kill this now. And the turn. Uh, if they attack us all out and they don't play anything, we might just duelist. Duelist Song for one. Yeah, look at this. Okay, no blocks. Don't have the mana for that. So we can do this. Now let's do this. Tone for one. Get in. Then we can do this next turn. Maybe close out the game. Woo! They're drawing cards. They're paying life. They have no fear. No fear at all. Oh, let's see what we, is that Dan? I don't know if that's lethal. I can't do math. I can't be thought to do math, you know? Okay, they had to go for the throat. So now we have to hold back and block. Uh, we will get in for... Yeah, we'll get in for two. Shelly, and we die. Cool story, Shaladrid. Yeah, we don't want these. Let's get rid of our top end. We knew this was going to be a problem. So we're going to bring in the Struggle Midnights. We're going to bring in Professional Face Breakers. And bring in one of these. Uh, maybe we'll go down two in the trenches, go up two Arias, just so we can sweep the board, and off we go. Show them the rats. We just want to slap as many tokens into play as fast as we can, and end this game soon. Uh, keep it. We will run out of 1-1 one, one bunny corn, because then we can make it bigger with this. Hope they don't have any answer. Come on. You have a one draw? I guess they have they could have cut down. Cut down seems so bad against my deck though. They kept him in. Alright. What you gonna do about it? I'm not gonna do much. Third thing. I will. Gladly convert that into a 1-1. You're welcome. Okay. The Opportunist is in play. I think we are just going to play this. Um. No. We're going to wait till next turn to play the Unicorn. Bunny Corn. Just so we can do both. Phyrexian Obliterator is bad. That's really bad for us, actually. Never mind. It's great. Uh, we're gonna play Regal Bunnycorn. Uh, it is a instant, so we'll keep it up. More of an sure. We have another cut down. There is no god here. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I hate it. Just the two cut downs? Crazy. Absolutely hate that. Oh my god. <laughs> We're done. We're dead. Tokens can't do anything against that. Yeah, good game, no shit. It's not, it's not looking too well. Rats are not doing well. Can we give him the goose? Give him the goose. It's too late. It's too late. We'll show him the announcement. We'll go to sleep. 
We'll die. All right. Uh, well. On to the next game. We'll, uh... We'll see if any deck can beat Mono Black. Certainly, this one is gonna struggle. We're trying to do see. We're trying to do fun things, and they just have all the efficient removal. This is the Rats episode. We are getting ratted out. It's being ratty. Here we go. We're ready. We're ratty. The Dino Knight is here. Ready to show what's up. To who? They're choosing. Come on, opponent. You can do it. I know you can do it. There we go. Uh, we're going to keep this. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep this. It's actually kind of a solid start. So we can jet mirror garden. Then we can pia. We can pump the pia, cast the hair, get a token, and then uh, the token will have plus one plus one because the hair. It's pretty sweet. We have cards. We have gameplay. We're keeping. Uh, um, turn one swamp. Hey, there you go. As long as everything's right in the world, then we gotta turn one swamp. See, they're looking at our colors saying, wow, those are the wrong colors to be playing in standard, and they might be right. Been a little goosey. Give him a goose honk. Perfect. Wait for our opponent. Okay, we'll sleep. We'll sleep on him. Well, there we go. Ooh, a forest! Uh-oh, they're playing a bad deck, too. I'm in. Always down to see bad decks. What on earth is this? Uh, attacks. That's cool. That's really cool. Alright, well, we're, we're gonna do our plan. We're not here to shy away. Get in our damage and go. And then next turn we're going to do the same thing. We might actually... We could do this now. Nah, I think we just get better value by doing that. Because then we plus one plus one the other Thropter. And uh, close out the game as fast as we can. Daring Tracker. Pretty cool. Pretty cool card. Trying to judge me out. Wow. I guess we just... An instant? That's no, a sorcery. So, this creature's gonna get big. They chose not to kill it, so that's nice. I could just... Make a bunch of tokens. I think I'm just gonna do this. Hello? I would like to have a wedding. I'm just going to attack with the Thropter. I don't want them having a combat trick for my other creatures. And then I got to make a token with the wedding announcement. Which is kind of what I'm looking for right now. Alright. Smacking him down. There we go. Perfect. Then we get to say, hello, human. Please come to my wedding. Hello, human. Please come to my wedding. I've invited you. They take some damage. They draw some cards. Top stomp. Uh, that's probably just game though, yeah? We just finish this off now? They can't block with this? 
They got nothing. We get to money. Make a token. Good. Crucible. Finish the game. I mean, they could block the pollen shield hair, but yeah, that's well enough damage. There we go. That's our game plan. That's what we're trying to do. See, our opponent's just doing nothing, so I'm pretty happy about that. We can do some of these guys. Uh, go down one of these. Go down one of these. Keep our mana curve. We'll go down all the rab, the rabble rousing. Uh, incandescent. Maybe we'll go up one rabble rousing. We don't really need any strike of midnights or anything. Um. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to ramp. They're playing the ramp deck. Which is probably pretty good. Just we're trying to go underneath the ramp deck. We got our Lord Bunnies. It worked out perfectly. Alright, we got the Ox. Reinforcements, Incandescence, and the Mana to cast it. Yeah, we're keeping. 100%. All right, the bivouac will rest no longer. I showed you my hot ox. How do you respond, opponent? With a forest, a classic. Uh, we will play this, and this past turn, we're going to reinforcements next turn or on the end of their turn uh, probably followed up by a wedding announcement depending on what they do we might use our duelist to deal three damage uh, the beautiful thing about incandescent area and the duelist is that the duelist will give it lifeline uh, yeah that's good that's great actually we are definitely in a wedding announcement then they can get their land that's fine Ooh, should we get Trenchy? Nah, we'll wedding announcement. We'll draw a card. There we go. Now we can get green mana. Probably Trench next turn. Depending on what they do. In the Trenches, also late game can be a removal spell, which is kind of nice. Thicker Drinker. Ah. The rat bargain. Good stuff. I do want that in play. Uh, I think we're going to just kill this. Now that we have this stuff, I think we just attack with one creature. Yeah. I think we just attack with one so we make a token. Oh. No attacks. Awesome. So when they... When we use our uh, card, our adventure card, if it gets countered or anything, we don't get the extra thing in the graveyard. We don't get the extra thing in the exile to be able to use. So this, I think we just... Do we trench? We give them a little trench foot? Now we're just going to do this. Play the Mondrak, flip the wedding announcement, make two tokens, uh, and then we should be in good shape to start blowing up our opponent. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. No attacks. Make two tokens, they're all two twos. They're losing life to their little, to their nice hat. A little squeaky goose over here. Triple Icker Drinker. Well, I have bad news for you, opponent. Now we're going to say red. 
No, we're gonna say green. Yeah, we're gonna say red. Let's say red. Um. Yep. Yeah, well, we're gonna do this. We're going to attack in. If they try and kill this, we will just put an indestructible counter on it. Doesn't really... Doesn't really matter to us. And then we're gonna, we're gonna show them our good old bunny. Yeah, we'll do it. Um, done. Two humans. Indestructible. Kill it. Good stuff. Now we have, don't have to worry about too much. Incubate two. Incubate two. Make some tokens. Very good. Uh-huh. Play this. Play a bunny. Big bunny. In the trenches. Make that human big. Smash in. They got pretty much... I mean, they don't have to double chump technically. But... Them blocking my 3-3. They can't just block my 3-3 to kill it. Strange. I mean, if they were just going to block and do nothing, they should have... Whatever. I'm not going to tell my opponent how to play. They can play however they like. Yep. No more unicorn. Okay. Alright. It's a monster. You're gonna fight this. And then you're both gonna die. Awesome. That's more like it. See, when our opponent plays weird Jund variants of black decks, we can just overwhelm them, no problem. So. Let's keep it going. Let's rat him out. Ooh, so much things flying up on my screen. I love it. That's Luka. Luka. All right. Rat flute. Rat flute for the wife. Let's do it. We didn't get to see any rat flute that game. We haven't actually played much rat flute at all which is kind of kind of sad because like rat flute there would have been it gets better and better the bigger you can make your stupid rats you know uh this hand looks good we're gonna keep it i might just cast this guy we got we got the bivouac ready to ready to slay All right, they're gaining life. They're cheating over there, gaining life. Honk at them. There you go. That's a little honk for your fairy. Norn's Inquisitor. Okay. All right. Do they have removal spell? Probably. Uh, I'm gonna play it anyways. There it is. Can you deal with? My guess is, yeah, likely they can. But will they? What? The plus one was some kind of processor. Okay. They didn't deal with the. They didn't do anything to my thing. Sacrifice a Phyrexian, put a plus one was some kind of processor. I guess I just kill it, right? Uh, or do I just wedding announcement? Yeah, just wedding announcement. 
Then I don't have to do anything. I'll make tokens. Make a bigger... Make a bigger little bunny. The bunny gets bigger. He eats so much little friends. He eats all his friends. He becomes really big. Look at this guy. He's making my bunny bigger. Serving my bunny some blood. It's a vampire bunny now. Okay. Off its gate. Done. Transformed. It gets bigger. I love it. Sure thing. Sure thing. Is that Phyrexian? It is Phyrexian. You could sacrifice two things to make it not die. Mm, it's a pretty solid draw, so I'm just going to cast that. And uh, I'm absolutely going to attack them for one. I'm going to say thanks. Thanks. Here we go. Okay. Jungle Hall. Oh, this guy's here. I was thinking about playing this card in this deck, but I don't know if that would have been the right call. It doesn't look like it would have been. What are we going to do? I mean, I guess we're just going to get in them trenches. Pump this guy to a very large number. And just attack for six, holding up my ability to sacrifice this. Or to sacrifice stuff to uh, pump this guy. They probably wish they didn't obfuscate my little bunny now. Oh, hell yeah. You're just gonna let it die so you can bait? I'm fine with that. Sure thing. Thank you, bait. We make two tokens. Everything's a 3 3. Everything will be a 4 4 with the pollen hair. Transforming everyone. Sure. I mean. It doesn't kill me, right? Like, I just. Double block here. Double block here. Double block here. And you kill three of my tokens, but. That's it. I kill all your tokens. And I'm left with a full board. I think I just... Duelist? Kill this guy? Gain three life? Tag with everything, right? Since I gained the three life, I'm pretty much in great shape. They can't... Really block well? Like, yeah, that's fine. I'll just... Kill your Inquisitor. You take nine. We're at 17. We're not really hurting too bad. These don't have haste. We got more trenches? Hell yeah. Oh, let's make this. Announce our wedding. Attack four. Easy trade. Make two more. And we should... I mean, yeah. That's it. That's game. There we go. We give him a little honk. What do I want against this? Um, nothing. Thanks, all their stuff. I control. No. I don't want this. The big cards are pretty good against this opponent. Base Breaker might be alright. Just as, like, card advantage. We haven't seen any Rabble Rousing. We still haven't seen... We haven't sang any songs. We haven't tooted any horns. 
We've just just goose the goose, you know? Against Bird Dad himself. All right. More rats, more times, more fun, more rhymes. Let's go. Yes. I don't even know if Heart Flame Duelist is actually that good. I kind of like it, though. Might not even fit this deck. There's probably just a better option, but I'm not playing it. I'm playing this card. The lifelink, uh, lifelink with my sorcery spells is kind of funny, even though it's pretty much just this. Restless Bivouac, even though we haven't animated it yet, I know it'll come into play sometime. And it's, it's cute little locks. Look at them. It's great. Oh, there's our ox for you. I think we just put one into play. Bring the aggro out. It is a 3-1, which is good. Okay, this thing. We gotta kill it, gain three life, attack for three. And then do it again next turn. I'm into that. Ooh, are they gonna kill it? Whoa! Alright, I... I... You're gonna take a lot of damage. It's their... It's their right. Their right to take a lot of damage. I'm not gonna stop them. That's rude, though. I just wanted to tell, just want to tell my opponent about the wedding. I announced it and everything. It's fine. I'd rather them blow that up than this. Um, where we will get a wedding announcement underneath. Get in. Make a token. Next turn, we get to play Mondrak and then attack. Making four more tokens. It's gonna be pretty good. I think it's even worth it to attack into this. Yep, no problem. You can deal your damage. Not worried about it. It's pretty good too. So I guess I can do this. I will attack with both. Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll get spooked and not, not do anything, not block. They did not get spooked. I'm fine with that, though. We're still gonna make a 7-7, or an 8-8, I guess, because it skews itself. They're gonna have to kill Mondrak. But then we still have the Regal Bunny Corn. Are they going in for the aggro? It seems like a... yeah. Um, well, we're gonna play the Duelist. We're gonna attack with everything. Cast this. I mean, I don't see what they're going to have to deal with this. Yep. Yep. Next. It's fine. So they're just doing it to incubate. 
We'll keep uh, the Heart Flame open. Or we could just double Resolute. Inquisitor does not finish us off. It doesn't do much of anything, honestly. Yep. Yeah. That's good. It's a big old creature. Yep. Transform. Uh, well. Resolute. Resolute. Animate the bivouac. We got some cow action. Right on that creature. We'll make 16 creatures. We will say good game. We will give him the honk. And the turn. Yep. How dare you? We're not going to let the cow die. We never leave a cow behind. never leave a cow behind. Awesome. Uh, well that's tokens. On to the next one. That's... Rabble Rousing can take over the game pretty fast if they don't deal with it. Little, little more than uh, Wedding Announcement does. Really, uh, Kind of establishes itself as a dominant card. I like that, personally. Alright, the guy brush is here. Let's do it. We're keeping. Looks great. Start with the Gemmy Garden. Um, yeah, well. We'll play another Gemmeer Garden. I have a feeling they're on something spicy. No counter spells. Get out of here. Come on. Okay. Yeah, something spicy besieged the. The monster with Dread Knight's actually really cool. I like that guy. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, so cool, in fact. Do I rabbit? it? I don't think so. I think I will just kill this. I'll kill it. I'll get an extra damage in. Pop him for two. Make another token. Yep. They lose the life. They're going to cast him again. It is a pretty... Oh, yep. Oh, from their hand. Very interesting. What do we do? Do we just do this? Probably just play the duelist. Another duelist. We'll gain three life. They can do their adventure thing. That's cool. We're going to draw a card. Pump every... Pump the team. Set up for a pollen hair into this paste. Oh, no! Okay. That sucked. That sucked. Oh, oh he makes two two twos? Okay, but that's way better. Way better than I was than I thought the card did. Sure. And you're gonna blow up the wedding announcement? Sheesh. Look at this. 
Look at these cards. Hmm, bunny. This. Air. Pump them. Smash in. They're going to need a lot of stuff to not die next turn. Especially if we draw land. It's going to be tough for them. It's going to be tough. Okay, go for the throw. It's a good start. Alright, Mosswood Dread Knight. Perfect, another Mosswood Dread Knight. Bivouac. We're going to make two more tokens. No attacks. Then we can double hair into a recruiter. Sure. At this point, that doesn't matter. Opponent. Oh, we're going to draw a card. We're going to lose our life. Okay. We will... One hair. Pollen hair. Recruiter. Fairly newer. And there we go. That should be game. And they take 15. And they take 14. Do they have... Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, if they had a removal spell, technically they could kill a token, go down to one, which would be pretty impressive. What do we get? This just destroys. The heroes resolve. Is that what we want? No, we don't want anything. We're just going to keep it going. Back in it. Back in it to win it. Tokens. Tokens for my wife. Rats and bunnies. And cows. Cows and bunnies and rats. And I guess humans and vampires, technically, but... No vampires. Just, just announcements. We will mulligan that. That hand looks like hot garbage. This hand looks much better. We will keep. I will get rid of this rabble rousing. We will go to the garden. We'll have some friends jump out at the last second. Oh, the man screwed? Oh, yeah. And that is game. They didn't want to play anymore. They said, oh no, oh no, 2 one win. what will I do? We rank up, gold tier one. On to the next game, let's go. This started off, this started off as a very negative video, you know? But then I started playing decks that weren't just mono black. And now it's, it's a great video. It's a great video, Rat Flute, even though we've, I don't think we've casted a single flute. Uh, Rat Flute is uh, great. We've been winning with humans. And bunnies. And we even we even beat down with an ox. You know? Great. Good stuff. We've been pared down. We were winning too much, now we're pared down. We're playing first. We got Yeah. We got a great hand if they don't have removal spells. <laughs> We have a great deck if they don't have any removal spells. It's a black mana. Ooh, okay, fairies. That's cool. Fairies is pretty cool. They didn't want that. I will play this. I will pass the turn. We will resolute reinforcements at the end of the turn. Well, we got no gameplay against that. We will show you our two humans. Two soldiers, two soldiers, together, forever. Look at them. I mean, we're going in. They might have a flash trick, but we also have a flash trick. No, nothing? No. Well, do you like our rabbit unicorn? They do. And the turn. 
They don't. Go for the throat. Throw for the goat. Ah. The fairies fly with their little spears and stuff, so it's no match. We can't parry them with our horn. That's the problem. Kato! We're drawing a card. Not great for us. Kato Shizuki is a very, very strong card. Oh, we're going to play Pia. We're going to play another bunny corn. We're going to establish dominance. I hope they tap out. I'm sure they won't. I'm gonna draw a card. Maybe they do tap out. No Childred? I would actually be fine. Drain Ego? Which one do they take though? They're both They're both pretty devastating. Nah, they take my flute. We'll never cast a flute. I mean, I'm going to cast him. I'm going to attempt to cast him. I'd rather them try and counter this than um, allow... Yep, that's fine. Good stuff. I will definitely kill this. Deal in three. I can't let them have him. I learned what I think need. about all the damage this could have done. Oh, it would have been good. Would have been good. We just need a green source, then we can... We can Pollen Shield, pump up like a Resolute Reinforcement, cast it again, get a Pia token, pump all our tokens. I mean, I'll play that too. That's fine. Yep. Throat is gone for. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. We will wait till end of turn to cast this. Fairy Master. Ooh, maybe they'll just make us draw cards. I'm into that, too. Uh-huh. Sure. Take the damage. I'm very surprised they didn't just use Technuma to get back, like, Kato or something. Even a 1-1 one, one flyer. It, that's fine. Maybe they just don't know. Call and shield hair? What does this do? Draw a card. That's pretty good, too. Good value. But you have to lose a life, and I don't know if that's what they want to do. Hell yeah. I am so down for them letting us draw cards. Okay, though. Make a 1-1, one, one, I'm guessing. Yeah. Playing blockers. I mean, we didn't play this deck to to not attack, you know? Yep. Yep. Okay. Then they can kill the polish. Oh, they're gonna bounce it? Awesome. Yeah, well, I'm just going to play the wedding announcement then. Draw a card. Uh, this is a get rid of the rabble rousing cards in my deck. Probably even the Mondrek kind of game. What do we have here? They can't activate these. They lose light. Ooh, I can get the green source now. I do like that. I mean, see if they have it. It is what they have. They're going to block and then pay the mana. So we both draw. It's so good. It's perfect, even. All 
Alright, let's see what they got. I want them to be able to think they can win, just so I can song them. They killed themselves. They killed themselves. A sad end. Three of those. Um. Yeah, we definitely want this this lovely lass. Because then they can't just they can't do anything on our turn. Uh, we probably also want like a professional face breaker, one of these. Just as ways to like get through. Maybe go down a recruiter? Or maybe go down in the trenches. Up another one, another scoundrel. And off we go. Tokens. See how we do. See how we do. They're choosing who will go first. Uh, my guess is that they will go first. This hand is kind of bad. Yeah, we need white sources. This hand's much better. We'll keep it. We're going to actually dunk on this edge wall. We don't want the edge wall. Sleepy time gorilla museum. There it is. Double sleepy time gorilla museums. Triple sleepy time gorilla museums. How do we... How does one even pretend like this is okay? This isn't okay. We're gonna surveil. Okay. I'm gonna try and resolute the reinforcements. It worked. We have two one ones. I'm going to play the Pia. PNLR. Inbound. We are not going to attack. Alright. They have gone for the throat. Not ideal. We take one. They play land. Like this. I think we're going to... In the trenches. See what they got. Nothing. Bunny up. So they had double go for the throat, the triple sleep curve cursed face. It's a hell of a cut that's a hell of a deck. Hell of a deck. All right, now they can untap them. Yeah, this is this is looking pretty bad. Put this into play. Do this. It's a four four. I can't attack. Uh, yeah, this is looking real bad. I can't pay the mana, right? They have ward two, so just take a bunch of damage. It's fine. Eh. Up. Uh, no. Alright, well. <laughs> Looks like the goose is on our face. We want two more of these. Two more of those. Let's go down these charming scoundrels. They're not going to do anything. Uh, yeah, we're going to... We're just going to sweep their board. Enough of that nonsense. Sleep cursed phase. Garbage. Play first. Let's go. Turn this into a white. No, nah, not fast enough. Does nothing. Tan's much better, actually. Uh, we are going to go down a. Bunny corn. Get your garden first. Sure thing. I think we're going to get a mountain. Get the mountain.
Play the bunny. Have it die. Sure. We didn't have it die. That's not good either. Alright. I guess we play professional face breaker. Get it countered. Awful. Well, we're not playing to not attack our opponent, so that's what we're going to do. Sleep Curse Fate is online. We'll play Wedding Announcement Pass. No attacks. Make a token. Mastermind, that's fine. We lose a life. It's a lot of damage, but if we can like top deck a land, we might be able to might be able to squeeze this out. Not the land we wanted, but the land we deserved. We're doing it. We're going rats. Going full rats. And they're gonna counter our spell. Um, oh, attack in, make a token, we hit, hit. it sucks, bivouac, I don't even know, resolute reinforcement. Flute for two, for one. Ah, uh, we didn't make it. If only. If only. Good game. They got us. Give them the honk. Alright, we got Goosed, that's fine. Fairies is a cool deck at least, even though they still play Shildred, which I think should be illegal. Should be illegal for fairies to play Shildred, it's not, it's not a fairy. Shildred's not a fairy, come on. Come on. Alright, well what did we learn about today's deck? The deck, the Rat Flute. The Rat Flute I made specifically for my wife well the rats didn't show up as often as I'd like and this cards probably would be better if I had removal spells that dealt damage so there's those are two things I I'd like to say in the trenches was pretty good uh, wedding announcement obviously good this guy I think is gonna be pretty sweet uh, yeah this guy's gonna be really sweet in a deck like this uh, what, what can I play? What can I play instead of these Rabble Rousing? I don't know if I want all this top end. Pro probably just two Mondrax. Maybe just some burn spells. This is also not that bad. You know, just as like a red aggro card. I could do Monastery Swift Spears. Pretty cool. This thing is not bad either. It's like one drops that do stuff. Might be what I'm looking for. You can exile things with that. Unlucky Witness is not what I'm looking for. Volt Surge. Yeah, if there's artifacts going around, but it really just feels like it's still just a Shilladred meta. And when we weren't fighting against Shilladreds, we were doing very well. Which says, I mean, says the power of the deck if Shilladred gets banned. Then maybe people stop playing as much black, and then maybe we can shine once again. As the magic players we are. Just want these. Probably not. This? Make Samurai? Draws cards? Probably pretty good. Maybe I'll play like two of those. And uh... I don't know. Not the witness. Approach the tower seems okay too. And bargain it. 
make creatures not block. Might just be good. Maybe I want one of those and I just want... I want the shawarma, the shawarma demon. Let's play the shawarma demon. Oh, that's the deck. Thanks for coming by. Rabble Rousing was really good. Maybe I'll put it in the sideboard instead of these Nahiri's Resolves. We can go down one of those, go up Rabble. Because I think it will be good in certain matchups. In certain matchups, it'll probably be extraordinarily good. Like if their opponent can't deal with it, they're not expecting it. We just pop out some Rabble Rousing, blow that up. Struck a Midnight. I don't know if that's what we want. These Charming Scoundrels should be something that exiles the Graveyard. Exile Graveyard. Oh my god. The computer's exploding. Too much stuff. Exile Graveyard. Let's see what we got. What options we have. Probably like Soul Guide Lanterns. A bunch of token stuff. There's Farewell. That's a pretty, pretty cool card. Is that what we should be playing? Should we play Farewell? Uh, Lantern. Lantern. I do like a Soul Guide Lantern. Jailer? Is there any non-creature spells that people are casting from Exile? I don't even know. I don't think there is. I'm just going to play a Cauldron. Cauldron can pump stuff up. Maybe we can just accidentally beat our opponents. Anyways, that's the deck. Thanks for watching. That's rats. That's rat flute. Didn't see a lot of rats. Didn't see a lot of flute. But that's rat flute. Take it easy. See you in the next one. Bye.